Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I have what will certainly be an absolutely ridiculous unboxing video to share with you guys. Uh, this was sent by Scott. And Scott didn't... <laughs> You guys probably know who Scott is if you've been watching my channel for a bit. That's this gentleman right here. And uh, if you're not following um, him on Instagram, I would. He has uh, one of the craziest knife collections you will ever see. I, I honestly can't think of anyone I've ever seen who has a crazier knife collection. So uh, be sure and follow him. Um, the nice thing about being friends with Scott, other than it, you know, just he's a genuinely nice guy, is that he loans me his knives so that I can show them on my channel and share them with you guys. And they are almost always ridiculous. So thanks so much to Scott for sending these in, or this in, whatever it is. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Had to put an envelope over the front because there's a little bit of personal information on there. So that's why it looks a little bit funny. Sorry about that. I don't, I, I, it's like something you don't have to explain, but then if you don't explain it, then people think there's like a weird conspiracy. <laughs> when you have a, when you just have a rectangle and there's a lack of context, some people like, it's kind of like, you know, a squirrel that gets stuck to the feeder and it starts spinning around. And the squirrel's like, ah, you know, <laughs> they don't know what to do. There needs to be an answer for this, right? Um, here we go. We'll just put that right there. Uh, let's see what we've got. Fairly heavy, fairly heavy pouch. Okay, what do we got? Hold on, I'm moving this rubber band here. Uh, slowly, yes, build up the tension. Yes. Okay. Man, I have no idea. I have no idea. I was going to try and guess. What am I even doing? Uh, what am I even doing right now? Guys, this is my full-time job. Did you guys know this? What I'm doing right now is my full-time job. I try to make this clear so that people know, right? It's been this way for a bit. Um, never thought that it would be this way. Never thought that uh, I could make a job out of this. You know, we live in a strange time. But sometimes I unbox a knife like this and I have to stop for a second and think what what's what's happening what's happening right now look at this oh boy that is a lot of freaking zirka tie um scott did you send a f piece of paper oh thank god i was like please tell me you said we're gonna get the blade out here in a sec just give me a sec give me a sec oh boy jd van Deventer, I'm so sorry, I'm certain that I um, butchered it. JDVD Knives is a South African custom knife maker that started building knives in 2005. So this person's been doing this for a while. He works in a one-man shop and built most of the machines he uses in the knife making process. Very cool. Like most of the great South African makers, his attention to quality, fit, finish, fit and finish, and especially glassy action put him and them at the top of the craft. JDVD has a naming convention to many in his line. The gold is the model. He also does a silver model. Uh, this is So this is the gold. The standard is the size, standard being full size, and the premium are the truly special builds that are the pinnacle of his work. So what you're seeing here is an example of the gold standard premium is what Scott's saying. This being one of those examples. Finally, this gold standard line was designed by well-known Jared Van Otterloo. Probably mispronounced that as well. J-V-O. This piece was built to my spec and still to this day is one of my very favorite pieces. It's a forever piece, meaning uh, we'll never leave. Uh, sports black, Timascus scales, clip and collar, Zerk bolsters, and polished damascus steel blade, and IKBS bearings. All that and JD is a super nice human being and an absolute pleasure to deal with. Enjoy. P.S. No spitting this time. <laughs> um, holy crap, man. Yeah, this is absolutely spectacular. God! 
That's wild, man. Absolutely wild. Look at that. Look at the pivot. Jeez. Unbelievable. Oh, man. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Let's flip it. Boy, you ain't kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> Click. I knew there'd be a... Man, yeah, that is ridiculously snappy. That is a super good looking, look at that. Polished flats or mirror polished flats. Actually, the entire thing has been mirror polished. So mirror polished damascus steel, um, zirconium bolsters, zircotai, lots of zircotai, titanium, zircotai pivot collar. So no, this is not mine. I don't get to keep it. I think it was probably obvious by you know, the words in uh, Scott's note there, but still, there's always people confused, right? Thinking that everything that gets into the channel is just mine for free. No, uh, this is a one of a kind. Obviously, this is a custom spec knife. So if you want something like this, you you can't go through me. You have to actually contact the maker directly. And this knife will go back to Scott when I'm done with it. Um, but uh, yeah, wow, that is absolutely stunning. Uh, really, you know, all of the best examples of zirconium Timascus that I've ever seen have come from Scott. And this might be, this is another just absolutely stunning example. I've seen good Timascus and bad Timascus. I've seen good Mokotai and bad Mokotai. I've seen good Zirkatai and I've seen, well, to be honest, I've never seen bad Zirkatai. I've just seen some kind of meh, you know, give it a C plus kind of Zirkatai. This is, uh, this is what I like to see. Thick veins of zirconium. I don't like to. I don't like that I said thick veins. Sorry, um, but the the yeah, whatever you want to call this, thick uh, zirconium squigglies and electric purple uh, mixed with white and blue. Well, it's not quite white, but it's like you know that's what kind of gives it that glowing, right? Uh, zirconium that's done correctly has the right contrasts to make the lighter areas seem like they're glowing as if they're being pumped with electricity or luminescent plasma, right? Uh, if you've ever wondered like how to put that into words, that's the best way that I've come up with. Um, and it's part of the reason why I like it so much. Now, obviously we have a lot of people, whether it's, I mean, a lot of times it's new people, but we also have people who've been around for a bit who just don't like the flashy colors on their really expensive custom knives. That's fine. Because remember, custom knives are custom knives, meaning they, that they will be built to the spec of the person who is ordering it. So you have a choice. It's not like when you get into the custom knife world, everyone's like, hey, welcome. Uh, in order to get past the gate, you have to say, I love Timascus or I love Mokotai or you can't come in. No, you can, ju you can still get whatever you want, right? Um, but for me, it helps sort of drive the nail in the coffin to get something really exotic and crazy. Look, I've always said... Um, I would not buy a yellow Toyota Corolla as a day-to-day -day driver. But if I were super duper rich and I, you know, went out to buy a Lamborghini, would I be a little bit more susceptible to picking the yellow one because it was a Lamborghini? Yes, but that's for an entirely different reason, right? So kind of the same thing that I, how I feel with, with knives, right? That the more expensive they are, the more exotic and wild and crazy I want the aesthetic. Right. That's just me. You don't have to think that way. This is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I'm also a big fan of the knurling on the flipper tab. I think that looks really nice. Um, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is this cord? No, it's not cord. We just have interesting with how those layers come through at the spine. Really nice. Huge fan of zirconium as well. Cool pocket clip. Man. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to guess that is a Zirkatai backspace or at least Timascus backspace. I'm honestly not seeing any Zirconium in there, but boy, stunning. All right. You guys will get a full, you won't get a review of this. You'll get an overview. This is a custom knife. It doesn't make any sense to review it. I'll still talk about the functional elements, but this is obviously a collector's piece. This is an enthusiast piece, right? Um, so we'll look at it with that specific light cast upon it. Thanks again to Sierra Bound for uh, allowing us to share in his magnificent collection. Never, He never ceases to shock me. Every time he sends something in, it's always something just freaking off the wall, man. So cool. All right. 
Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.